Bonjour guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to find a reaction of a beam that is subjected to all kind of different loads. And this is a request from you guys in the engineer community. Now, if you want to help choose my next video, see options later and don't forget to comment below. But first, let's solve this problem. Oh yeah, everybody now. For those of you guys who don't know me already, my name is Kenza and I've helped so many students pass the FE exam with my online prep courses and free videos. Now, a couple weeks ago, we have covered unit cheat sheets for statics and we have also discussed a beam with different loads and we set up the moment equation to find the reaction. Now, if you haven't watched that video yet, I recommend that you guys do that first and then come back to this video. And one more thing, guys, I'm going live this Friday and I'm going to answer all your questions about the FE exam. So don't miss out on this and make sure you save your seats by signing up in the link in the description below. So this is what we have. A beam is subjected to a distributed load, a point load at mid span and a moment at one third of the beam. And we want to find the reaction in kibs at support B. So here's what we're gonna do. You guys are gonna pause the video and you're gonna try to attempt this problem because a lot of times we think we know how to solve something until we do it and then we realize our mistakes. But it's good if you do mistakes, that's a good thing because that's how you're gonna learn from your mistakes. Now also follow the steps that we did in the unit cheat sheet for statics and make sure that when you set up your moment equation, Every term in that equation has to have the units of moments. So that's all I'm going to say. You guys give this problem a try and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so the first thing we're going to do here is do the summation of the moment at A is equal to zero. We're also going to assume that counterclockwise is positive. Now, note guys here that I draw BY going up. So if we get BY positive, that means our assumption is right. But if BY turns out to be negative, that means our assumption is wrong and that BY should be going down. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at is the point load. So here we're going to have minus. So the reason it's minus is because the moment is going in this direction and the point load is going opposite. So that's why we have minus. And then we're going to have minus 27 kips and then multiplied by the length. The length is going to be half of 22, which is 11 feet. The reason why it's half of 22, it's because this point load is acting at mid span. Then we're going to have minus the distributed load. It's minus because it's going opposite of the moment. And then we're going to have 3,400 pounds per foot. Now note guys here that this force is in kips. The moment is in kips and we also want by in kips but the distributed load was giving in pounds so what we need to do is convert pounds to kips and all we need to do is just divide by a thousand we covered this already in the unit cheat sheets for statics the next thing we need to do is multiply the distributed load by two lengths because here we have per foot so we need to multiply it by another length to get rid of the foot and then another length to have kips foot because that's the unit of moment right so the first length is going to be the length of the beam, which is 22 feet. And the second length is going to be half of the beam, which is 11 feet. So it's half because we assume that the concentrated load of the distributed load is acting at mid span. Next we have is moment. So the moment here is counterclockwise and our positive moment is also going counterclockwise. So that's why here we're going to have plus and then it's going to be 11.12 kips foot. Now, Remember guys, this is a moment and this is a moment equation. So we don't need to multiply this by anything else. Okay, keep that in mind. This is a very common mistake that a lot of people make. Next we have is BY. So BY is also going to be positive because the moment is going up and then BY is going up. So we're going to have BY and then we're going to multiply it by the distance that is perpendicular to the force. This distance is going to be 22 feet. Okay, so it's from where we're taking the moment to where B is. So that's going to be 22. And this equation here is equal to zero. Now, by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this to help you with your FE preparation or if you're taking a statics class. Okay, now let's solve for BY. So to find BY, we're going to take all these terms to the other side and you guys are going to plug that in in your calculator. And if you do that, you're going to get 1108.68. Now, this here is going to have the units of Kip's foot because all of these terms have the units of Kip's foot 
foot and then we're going to divide it by 22 feet now note guys here how the foot and the foot cancels and then we're going to be left with gibbs which is the unit that we want now if you guys plug in these numbers in your calculator you're going to get 50. now also note guys here that 50 gibbs came out to be positive which means our assumption is correct by is going up now if we take a look at the multiple choice the answer is going to be c if you guys want more statics problems, go ahead and comment statics below and I will share a couple important problems with you guys. Now, if you guys like this video, then you guys are going to love our courses where I solve so many problems and I cover so many concepts that will help you pass your FE exam. And while you guys wait for the next video, make sure that you guys check out these two videos that we have right here, which will help you with your FE preparation. Now, thank you guys for watching. Good luck with your studying. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. À la prochaine. Oh yeah,